Hello, my wisdom lights. Thank you for tuning in for this week's self sacred self care tips for each zodiac element with yours truly said God's wisdom. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a very, very powerful week. Okay. We're gearing up. Uh, we already in shadow phase for Mercury retrograde. That's strike one. Strike two. We have Saturn going retrograde first. So Saturn shadow period already been going on. And then we have a clips. So it's like boom, boom, boom all next week. <laughs> That's not what it is. <laughs> it is. But it's just <laughs> get ready. Mind your fences. Tidy up. Cross your T's. Dot your I's, y'all. Because this is about to be a shake up, shake up. This is going to be a lunar eclipse, so make sure you check out my video. I'm about to be ready to post by Wednesday. By Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm going to post the uh, Sagittarius lunar um, eclipse video. And I'm going to talk about those. And then probably uh, two more days later, I'll go ahead and do like the Mercury retrograde video, Saturn retrograde video. To go ahead and get those energies out for you, those collective updates out for you. So you know, you know pretty much what's going on and you know how to maneuver in those energies, okay? This is a perfect time to really... Uh, Get prayers answered. Uh, last Thursday, Jupiter entered Pisces. He's going to be in Pisces for um, two and a half months up until July, July 28th. He's going to retrograde back into Aquarius because he's going to stop at two degrees and then retrograde back, beep, 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 back into Aquarius to 26 degrees, okay? And um, yeah, so this is retrograde period. This is also eclipse period. A lot of fate, a lot of karma, a lot of things you can't control, okay? So like I say... Mind your fences, dot your eyes, cross your T's, get everything in order, especially when Mercury go retrograde. And he's in Gemini, the sign he rules in the sign of the mind. So, um, yeah, make sure your mental capacity is ready for what's about to be upgraded. Remember, nothing to fear. Fear is of the lower dimensions of the root chakra of the underworld. Nothing to fear is just retrogrades, all the rewards, realignment, readjust, revise, redo, receive something, okay? Even if you're receiving an old karmic lesson, somebody from the past or past life, you know, retrogrades are really time to, um, like an anti up or like an upgrade energy period. Okay. So nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. Just, I highly recommend writing, journaling as much as possible. Even if it's just how your day going, like mental health check-ins with yourself. You can journal on your phone as long as you like communicate with yourself in a sacred way. A sacred spiritual baths meditation i highly recommend meditation that's top one on the list meditation okay so y'all really just brace yourself it's going to be a powerful energy like i said boom 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 three karmic events happening back to back to back to back within one week you're probably already feeling the energy is getting very very hot and spicy sagittarius the last fire sign it's gonna be hot okay very transformative um yeah, just a lot of truth. Because Sagittarius truth, Mercury deals with uh, facts and things. And Saturn and Aquarius, the collective. So something about the collective is coming up. A lot of truth. But I'm going to stop right here. I ain't going to go too deep in it. I'm going to go ahead and do y'all sacred self-care tips for this week. And um, look out for my other videos. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share my channel. Remember, one of the laws of the universe is karma. What you put out comes back to you the boomerang so make sure you spread the love share the love and that love will be mirrored back to you in your reality okay so this is for the week of may 17th to may 23rd this i'm going to start with the fire signs that's aries leo sagittarius okay aries leo sagittarius and how i'm doing it i got a lot of cards going so i'm gonna pull we got card number 40, uh, Pleasure, that came out for you guys. Pleasure, if you're looking at the screen, it's beautiful, the rainbow, the chakras. And then what's crowning, you got 15, connect with your womb for my female Sagittarius. Hell, even the males, because we all have, we all give birth to something, because you need the male semen to fertilize the egg. So it's like, I'm seeing it as like a two-way card. So both male and females need to balance their masculine and feminine energies. Also, if you are a female, if you're having like fertility issues or um, your sacral issues or cramps in the stomach, really work with the crystal labradorite. 
um, Moonstone, really research different different um, alternatives to healing just instead of running to the doctor. The doctor cannot, nine times out of ten, they're not tapped into their psychic abilities. They not have, they don't have full self-aware. They're all about getting that check. You need to make sure you see a sacred healer, a spiritual healer, somebody that can really tap into and really understand what's going on with your chakras and your body and what the body is trying to tell you, okay? So we're going to go with the goddesses, and then I got an angel card I want to pull, too. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, the goddess Aphrodite is coming out for the fire signs. Aphrodite, this is her card, fire signs for this week. Aphrodite wants to work with you, and she's saying, channel your inner goddess, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, appreciating your divinity. And she's also one of the goddesses of love that deal with what? pleasure so this is your um have sex free card this week you know really express yourself um burn off some of those energies okay now let's see what angel message you have so i can go ahead and give you the overall reading for this week fire signs let's see aries sagittarius leo angels what messages you have for the fire signs may 17th through may 23rd okay throat chakra i knew it was one of the chakras coming out we got throat chakra the angel of the throat chakra the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth so this could be somebody coming up to i'm picking up a soulmate i'm picking up for the fire sign some type of soulmate it could be here i'm picking up a pet it could be a pet because everybody holding this dove it could be a pet um it could be something new coming in your life Again, we got these eclipses, two retrogrades, uh, Pluto already retrograde, so that's going to be three retrogrades going. Jupiter on June the 20th, a fourth retrograde, so it's a lot of karmic stuff working out right now. Readjustment, um, realigning. Uh, so I'm picking up a lot of somebody from the past life, somebody from the past, some somebody trying to resurface now. You, you're probably feeling it now. You already have an inkling. Of who trying to come back in your life or who trying to of uh, the universe trying to give you a second chance with um this like a like i say a giveaway free car like you know have that pleasure with them you know do what you need to do speak your truth uh let them know how they hurt you um also forgiveness and it's not you i tell people stop think oh, i don't want to forgive my mom i don't forget it it's not about forgiving them the forgiveness you give into them or to the universe is for your healing okay so release that pain release that trauma and let it flow out these chakras okay fire signs let that body flow i'm seeing y'all really need to get some of that sexual energy off you you need to burn it off so go ahead and get your pleasure on go ahead and see the energy healers for any uh infertility or womb problems for some people and again womb deal with giving birth so again if you have problems being blocked from a job being blocked uh mess and drama with your co-workers car issues any different things dealing with blocks i'm seeing some people with car issues so just work just figure it out burn you some road opening candles participate in my community road opener where well, it's going to be a group because remember a coven the more people you have intertwined in it the more powerful the uh, ritual spell is so that's why i'm doing this community road open for my tribe so we can go ahead and get our energies and power up so we could be on our shit when the shit hits the fan with the collective because my soul tribe don't play. We are, my, my soul tribe will be taken care of, okay? Spiritually. So that's why I'm on it. I'm on it, y'all. I'm on it for us, okay? But that's the messages for the fire signs this week. And remember, research Aphrodite. Work with Aphrodite. Add her to your altar fire signs if you like what you see and what you read about her, okay? So that's that for the fire. Let's move on. Let's see what other... Let's see what other element. Let me see what's the next element spirit. I'm hearing water. So water spirit. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Sacred self-care tips for the water. For the water signs spirit. The water signs. And it's coming up for this week with the water signs spirit. Water signs. Ooh. Okay. We got two cards. I'm going to go ahead and honor that. I'm going to go ahead and honor that. A lot of writing. Water signs. I don't know if you need to make a manifestation list. 
I don't know if you need to, again, forg I'm picking up a lot of forgiveness energy over the collective right now. Forgive somebody, or if you need help with something, de oh, delegating something, but the universe is trying to, and wants you to work with them, especially your spirit team and your angels, for angel message for the water sign spirit. What angel message is coming up for the water signs this week? Because we got the goddess white terror sensitivity. So, yes, Jupiter and Pisces. So, it's going to activate a lot of the water signs to be extra, extra sensitive for the next two months. And then, you know, all next year when he moves fully into Pisces. Because he's only going two degrees uh, for, the next, for the next two months. Because he's going to retrograde back into Aquarius. Okay, so let's see what angel message we got. Okay, ear chakra. See, a lot. This is the second chakra card. And then both of these cards got rainbows. So, see, we got number card. Card number 55, write a gratitude list, water signs. Write a gratitude list. And then we got 45, sing. We got a lot of fives. So a lot of changes. Five deal with, again, um, communication, change, personal freedom, lessons learned. So a lot of surrender energy. I'm picking up the water signs are stuck and they need a breakthrough. I'm seeing a lot of water signs crying for help. I'm seeing a lot of water signs depressed. I'm seeing a lot of water signs are, are now receiving messages, are now receiving the help, are now finally getting what they deserve for the better. I'm hearing for the better right now. Because we got the Ear Chakra Angel card. And she's saying, and this is another one, eyes closed, eyes closed, eyes closed, eyes closed. Receiving something, something you meant to receive from spirit. Notice messages that appear as sound music and words from both external sources and within your mind these messages are real answers to your prayers okay and then we got the goddess white tower sensitivity that's working with the water signs at this moment in time for this week you are becoming increasingly sensitive of all harsh relationships environments situations and chemicals now remember this is also for water signs stellian people if you say you're earth sun and but you got three or more planets and water signs like your personal planets like your moon venus mercury mars jupiter anything hell saturn uranus neptune if you got conjunction of at least three or more planets in water then this energy is for you too so it's best to know your native chart people okay so i want the water signs to work with the colors green and blue more work with the colors um the crystals green and different greens and different blue crystals to help you with the sensitivity also with a black and also malachite i'm hearing malachite is good water signs to help with their sensitivity, okay? But y'all need to write your gratitude list and you got the card, sing. So again, going back to that throat chakra, something you need to get off your chest, expression. Um, release the depression. Release the depression, get out your own way. Your mind is in your own way, water signs. Your mind is your own way. You in your own way. You your own worst enemy, water signs. Okay, that's what I'm picking up this week. Get out your own way. Earth signs, spirit. Okay, earth signs. Okay, there's a lot of going on with the earth signs. I touched this one, positive affirmation. Okay, earth signs, you haven't been doing your work. It's time for you to get on your work, earth signs. And like I say, if you are earth sign and have been doing your work, you might have another element strong in your uh, chart that's pushing you to work. But this is for the earth signs that have not been doing their work, okay? Let's see, because a lot of earth signs do have... Some earth stelliums in the chart so let's see especially the 90s the early 90 kids have a lot of earth in the chart let's see let's see what angel message is coming out for the earth signs the sweet spirit thank you and then what goddess message is coming out for the earth signs this week earth signs is virgo Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Spirit, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay, okay. So, um, a lot of angelic help. More with the angel. So, water signs. Um, shit. Earth signs. So again, all y'all seem like y'all need to work with your chakras. All the elements, chakra, sacral chakra, uh, earth signs, sacral chakra. You got the angel message saying you are highly sensitive to chemicals. That, additives processed foods and energies right now respect your sensitivity by avoiding harsh item situations and people this sound like um uh, for the water signs so i'm seeing water and earth being mixed up right now 
uh, y'all had similar timelines, okay? But for sure, for sure, they want the earth signs and earth signs selling people to make an altar. Card number 16, make an altar. And also positive affirmations. Y'all need to be a little more nicer, earth signs, and stop being grumpy and picking up a real, real negative, dark energy. Be more kind to yourself and others so you can get receive some good karma, better karma, or what's going on in your life. Heal your heart, earth signs, okay? We got Anne, the goddess Anne, working with you this week, goddess Anne. So write her down, research her. She's telling the earth signs to take a leap of faith this week. And let's go back to the altar card, make an altar. So it's something your angel's trying to get through to you. I'm hearing some earth signs need to release some karmic partners, release some exes. This retrograde is going to really test a lot of earth signs, okay? So work on your sacral chakra with releasing. So working with the crystal selenite and calling upon Archangel Michael to help cook those cords, okay? And Anne is saying, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action, okay? And that means I'm picking up with spirit, setting those healthy boundaries, and falling for the right person, the right partner, okay? Because it's like, enough is enough. I'm seeing a lot of earth signs are being um, transformed heavily right now in the sense of you can feel a lot of inner transformation, transformation and a lot of weight being on your shoulders right now. And that's some residual energy that needs to be expressed out i'm seeing some earth signs have been going and getting their work done and energy work done on their body and you the universe saying kudos congratulations you're doing good you're doing good keep up keep it up okay but earth signs really get the outset up and get your um prayer sign up okay work with the crystal selenite cut those cards um and release what you need to release with all these retrogrades coming up okay a lot of changes around your heart chakra and your sacred chakra earth signs okay for this week spirit last but not least the air that is gemini libra aquarius gemini libra aquarius spirit for this week okay music okay something they want the air signs to dance to take a walk okay let's see what god is working with the air signs this week air signs gemini libra aquarius gemini libra aquarius who is this? Compassion. I want to take the top chord. Another chord that say go outside. Okay. Let's see air signs. So that they want the air signs to really clear their mind. I'm hearing that very loud air signs. Clear your mind. Declutter right now with this retrograde. So meditation. Going outside for a run or a walk. Angel messages for the air signs. Gemini. Aquarius. Libra. What? Oh. Okay, we got a lot of flying out. Okay, some parent healing. You need to. I don't know if you watched my last video for the Taurus uh, the new moon, or full moon. My last uh, full moon, new moon video about Taurus, the Taurus one. Okay, I told everybody to write a letter to the parents. I write a letter to anyone that has hurt, harmed, injured them, in any type of way, abandoned them, in any type of way, um, to burn it, to release it, to um, forgive, to move on. Again, this is a lot of healing energy right now. The sun is still trying in Pluto. It feels some energy that needs to be healed and transformed right now with everybody in the collective. But you got the card 37 music air signs. Music, you got two going outside cards, and you got the goddess Cordelia to go outside this week. You got two goddesses that came out air signs. So there's a lot of back and forth. I'm seeing some air signs don't know what type of decision to make. I'm seeing some air signs. Um like buying a house, I'm seeing some air signs, um, making big decisions, big decisions, okay, but it's something dealing with the parents, let me see, the divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability, the angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father, okay, and if they are deceased, they're helping you in the spirit realm, okay, air signs, also, you got the other guy that's Quan Yin. Make sure you write your guy's name down. Research her. See if you like her. Um, and she's willing to work with you. She came out for your sign for a reason. Okay, Quan Yin is the goddess of compassion. Release judgment about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So I'm seeing the air signs being very, very judgmental this week. Very antsy, very um triggered. Okay, but it's a lot of internal healing. There's a lot of ancestral healing. That's why they want you to go outside and connect with the earth. Okay, a lot of greens. So I want the air signs to work with greens and golds. Greens, golds, and pink crystals. Green, gold, 
uh, green golds and pink colors okay like if you don't like holding crystals get you a crystal bracelet but you definitely want crystals y'all to help you know draw off the energy it's all energy you want to transmute and burn off the energy so dancing listening to music getting out raising your vibration okay okay y'all so this is this week's self-care tips for the zodiac elements i want to thank y'all for tuning in make sure you like subscribe and share this video if you're new thank you for tuning in for the first time and if you're returning wisdom light i love you i love you i love you all be blessed stay safe and look out for the other videos on my channel bye bye now